So hello, hello everyone. Welcome to all those of you who are new and welcome back to all of you who love me and continue to follow me. <laughs> I love you too. Um, quick PSA message because I notice patterns. <laughs> if y'all watched my message, my session with Darlena Watson and y'all are in the know about me, um, I caught patterns. So listen, first off, know your chart so that when a bomb ass message comes out for a certain sign and it's not your sun your moon or your rising that you can still apply that bomb awesome fucking message to your chart however it applies for you like taurus the last i think a few days ago given you'll catch this message in divine time but for example sake taurus a few days ago had a fucking awesome reading you don't have to be a taurus sun moon rising the house could be completely empty the fact of the matter is it still rules a house in your birth chart and applies to a specific arena a specific area of your life so you can always say okay so in regards to that energy right in my natal chart that house I've got some really good energy working in there, okay? Whether you have planetary placements or not. I noticed too, <laughs> I know I know which of y'all have certain signs in your big three and which ones y'all cross watch because when some of y'all are cross watching for a sign who gets a bomb ass reading, the views will be there, but the likes won't be. <laughs> I'm just like, they're hating. They're hating on the sign they're cross-watching for. So listen, first off, you could still show me love. <laughs> drop a like, you know? You could always show your girl Grace some love and drop a like. Anyway, I'm still being present. And my channel's demonetized, so I don't even make y'all watch ads and shit. You could at least drop a like for that, okay? Um... And secondly, the first thing I said in this message applies. Like, it's still a part of your chart. So don't get triggered if someone that you know that you're cross-watching for or not in communication with is having an awesome message come through. Because to be completely fair, you're the one catching the message they're not. The messages that I give on my channel are in divine time for the viewer to resonate with. You're the one watching that message, not them. That might be their reading if they're in their high energy. But if they're in their low energy, probably not. That's why they wouldn't connect with me on YouTube and watch that video. Not to mention, we are always talking about holding gratitude. So you know what? If something triggers you in a reading that you're cross-watching a sign for understand there's something about that individual that's triggering you right there's something about that individual that is light okay because not everybody is fucking awful in a hundred percent of all areas of their character behavior and life like my ex is a fucking asshole but damn if he ain't a fucking workhorse you know what i mean like kudos to him for busting his fucking ass and being a workhorse and being able to provide for the life that he wants you know what i mean like there's always something good to be said about everyone so whatever their light attributes are whoever that person is that triggers you honestly integrate integrate they bust their ass fucking working, making bank. Well, there's your focus because that's what you're hating on them for. You know what I mean? If they have wonderful relationships with your, their family and you don't have such great relationships with your family, then really work on your relationships with either one, your kids, if you got them, because they're the most important family. They're extensions of you. Okay. And or your soul family, because I don't have any actual blood family, family outside of my son worth connecting to. So if I were to hate on somebody, like, for example, if I were to hate on somebody because they're close to their family, that's just a clue, a reality check for me to get in touch with my soul family. 
my sisters from other misters. You know what I mean? My sisters. <laughs> That's all that would be for me. You know what I mean? So if you're triggered by a reading that you're cross-watching for, chances are you need to integrate and hold gratitude for that mirror of them because they're still, even in your separation from them, showing you light attributes about yourself that you are capable of tuning into or they wouldn't be in your mirror triggering you to begin with. Okay? So... That was just a quick PSA. Um, so make sure to drop likes. Leave me comments. Let me know if the readings resonate with you. If you don't know your birth chart, you can go to uh, Astro Cafe. Um, you can go to Astro Deant. It's Astro Dash D I E N T. You just Google search it. Um, A Lab which is A-L-A-B-E dot com, does birth charts. Okay, so if you don't know the basics of your birth chart, you can Google free natal chart or free birth chart and those sites will come up, okay? And you can get the basic nut bolts of your birth chart. If you want more details about it, my email is in the description. I let everybody know because I have an app called Astro Gold that you actually have to pay for. Um, but it's pretty detailed. So if you guys want a screenshot of your chart and you feel comfortable sending me your birthday, birth time, and birth location, just shoot me an email and say, hey, Grace, I would really love a screenshot of my birth chart. Here's my birthday, my birth time, and my birth location. And I will give you a screenshot of your birth chart. Okay? And you could see what your rising sign is. You could see what your north node is. You know what I mean? You could see where your Jupiter placement is. You could see where all the houses line up. Like for that Capricorn reading that I did last night, yo, Capricorn, right? Capricorn was fucking on point, boss ass energy, right? And I'm sitting there. And I'm like, Capricorn rules my seventh house. Given I have Neptune in Capricorn, but it's like the tail end of my sixth house. My seventh house is actually empty, but it's ruled by Capricorn. And Capricorn also rules my eighth house. Capricorn rules my seventh and my eighth house. Just like Cancer, my rising sign, rules my first and my second house. Because I have intercepted signs um, elsewhere in my birth chart. So... I have Taurus and Scorpio intercepted. So I have Capricorn ruling two houses and I'm just like listening to this message and I'm applying it to my seventh house and my eighth house. And I'm like, yes, because man, I am single as fuck, single as fuck and happy as fuck about it. Because the way I look at it, right, CEO boss energy, I'm like, I know who the fuck I want and who I don't want. I don't want a guy who drinks. I don't want a guy who smokes weed. I don't want a guy that does fucking pills or weird fucking ivermectin horse, whatever the fuck the last guy was doing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want a guy that smokes cigarettes. I want somebody straight edge like me. Well, almost straight edge. <laughs> I do have an e-cig and I don't mind if they use an e-cig, but I don't want anybody that drinks, smokes, does drugs, like smokes cigarettes. I don't want none of that. I want a guy who can hold his own making money that I'm not going to be some fucking rug that he rolls himself out on. I know what traits I want my partner to hold. And I am perfectly fucking content being single, being all of those things that I'm looking for in a partner on my own. Like I'm my own best fucking partner. Amen to that. You know what I mean? So I'm applying that boss ass energy to my seventh house and my eighth house, which is all about fucking legacy and children. And that is the big focus I am I have right now. The legacy I'm leaving behind for my son and my son. Given my eighth house is like <laughs> shining with uh, uh, aqua Jupiter energy, but yeah. Apply the energies to the house in which it rules for you. You're catching the messages for a reason. Okay, please do not forget about that. And know that I love you and I support you always. And if you ever really want your sign read or something like that, like 
I think what I'm going to start doing is signs that get the most likes, most comments, most views. I'm going to start just straight up giving them bonus readings, okay, without even rolling the dice. So if you see your sign in the monthlies, right, because if you're not catching it in the videos, check the live tab because I'm live in between loads all the time. So definitely keep an eye out, not just for videos that I load like this one but for live ones popping up in the YouTube live tab, okay? Because chances are there are some recent <laughs> videos in there, all right? But yeah, all the monthly zodiacs and things like that that I do, like all the February readings that I put out, like drop a like, leave comments, share it out, because whoever ends up getting the most, I think I'm going to do an in-depth reading for those signs. I'm going to dig, I'm going to dig deep for them. Okay, so I love you and I will see you in a little bit because I'm totally going to do Libra and Taurus and Pisces. So bye. <laughs>